it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite... Lost pilot. Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, oh. and everyone's favourite bird... Archie! Yay! Today we have a little Q&A video all about Archie, because, like I said in the intro, he is everyone's favourite bird, aside from... You know, those, those couple of people that like to say nasty things about the bird. But they're not welcome here, so it's fine. We don't talk about them. <laughs> we don't talk about them. No. Or we do. We just sing songs about them. So basically, I'm going to have a look at the Q&A questions that people left under my £2 Nutella heart video. What? What is it? I'm sorry, I just read a comment. <laughs> what? Well, this is a good place to start. Caitlin P says, I would like to know how old Archie is, what made you decide to get him, and what his routine is. And then someone's come along. Four-eyed ape. Um, Do you want to read it, Sam? He's eight decades old. He is a great life force for her, and every day he feasts on a decapitated lambs, bathes in the bloods of his enemies, and sleeps on a bed of intestines. Archie was my son. Now he's a monster. <laughs> okay. He's like they're onto me. How old is Archie? He is. How old are you, friend? Two. One. No. Old. He. He's one year and one month old. Oh, I was What close. a good dad. No, he's not. Because he was four months old when we got him. And we got him in February last year. So if he was four months old, he's oh, born in... We got him at the start of March. So March to March would be one. But he was born in October. I don't care when he was born. I'm sorry, actually, the parents are arguing. <laughs> what a terrible when environment. When is your birthday? <laughs> And what made you decide to get him? What? What, does, what made us decide to get him? <laughs> because we wanted to annoy bird. the heck out of Sam. <laughs> it was all Alex's fault. Well, actually, well, I, I grew up with birds. I've had birds all my life. I started with budgies, and I had cockatiels, I had finches, chickens, a lorikeet, a galah. The galah, he's Charlie. He went absolutely psycho at me at some point in his life he just lost his mind and we had to put him up for adoption and he lives with a very good friend of ours now and Dan and I went and house sat for the lady that has him and we were like oh that's right it's so nice to have a pet bird <laughs> so after we looked after Charlie again I mean I had Charlie for years but after we looked after Charlie again for a month, we looked after him and Dan and I were like, that's it, we need a bird again. So we did a whole bunch of research and we looked at a collector's parrots, we looked at African greys, cockatoos, macaws, Indian ringnecks. There you go, friend. Thanks. <laughs> Good job. And we decided on an Eclectus parrot because they seemed to have the nicest temperament. They're extremely cute. Supposedly they don't chew on things as much as what ringnecks and cockatoos do. No, grey. What is it? False. It's African greys? Uh, yeah, African greys are meant to be chainsaws on legs. So we, we found out Eclectus parrots supposedly are the least destructive. I mean, I agree to an extent. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. No, Just understand. word to the wise. <laughs> hmm? Thanks, Sam. Oh, sorry. Sorry, continue. <laughs> As you are. What is his routine? His routine is wake up, scream, go to sleep, repeat. <laughs> How did you tame Archie? From birth. Uh, from yeah, well, four months old. We got the breeder that bred him. We bought him off her when he was four months old. And she had a young son, and apparently that son used to just <laughs> hang out with the birds every single day, and he would pat them and he would, you know, take them into the shower with him and take them into the garden and stuff like that. So when we got him at four months old, he was already pretty desensitized to humans, I suppose. I actually feel like we trained him just by annoying him. Like, just keep annoying him until he does the thing that you want him to do. <laughs> so, wouldn't you say? No, I think he came like this. You reckon he came pre-installed with happiness dot bra? The first day that we had him, you could just plonk him on someone and he would just sit there and just be like, okay. True. Yeah. What changed? <laughs> Shut up. What you, changed? You. Bull. You're what changed. You moved in with us and he uh, played psycho. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Stank Eye. Uncle, Uncle Stank Eye. I give him the Stank Eye, but I don't annoy the out of him. You guys, you guys do that. You, 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 you. Where did Archie's name come from? 
You all watched Archer. We got Archie from Archer, and Archer is a TV show that these two love. I really don't like watching Archer, personally, because they don't stop screaming. Lana! Lana! Zero! Yeah! Lana! What? But like, but it's very fitting. It's totally relatable with a bird. Because Archie never stops screaming. No. So really, the inspiration, as much as you guys all want me to say it's from Riverdale, it's not. It's from the TV show Archer. It's Riverdale. Yeah, I don't right. actually know what Riverdale is, but everyone in the comments keeps saying, It's like Archie from Riverdale. So, alright. I'll go with it. I yeah, don't know it, okay. but I'll go with it. Should we watch Riverdale? Drop a comment below. Does Archie poop on your shoulder or yes. hand? Something yes. Like... Yeah. No? Yeah. Yes. No, he's yes. learning. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. He hasn't pooed on a hand before. No, he won't poo on his But everywhere skin. else. I've had a traumatic experience. What? He was sleeping on my chest, and I fell asleep. <laughs> and birds, when they're asleep, they poo. It doesn't stop. It like, doesn't biology stop. just keeps going. Yeah, his metabolism just kept going and running into my lovely chest hair. You didn't have a shirt on? No. <laughs> yeah. He's hiding in shame. Yeah. Can you get him? Hashtag good morning. <laughs> yeah, what a, what a way to wake up in the morning, huh? He will occasionally poo on my shoulder if I leave him there for too long, but fun fact, birds, depending on their size, they actually end up with a really, really regular poo schedule. And I know that sounds really weird, but the bigger the bird, the longer the time frame that you have before they need to poo again. So with a budgie, budgies probably poo every five minutes. Uh, finches, they poo every two minutes, honestly. Bigger birds like this, he can go about 15 minutes, 15 minutes and it's like clockwork I'm not joking you can look at your you look at your watch and say okay it's five o'clock at 5 15 you pick him up and put him on his cage and he will poo and then if you have him sitting on your shoulder until 5 20 god forbid he will poo on your shoulder so it's 15 minutes he's got a little pocket watch that he keeps under his wing and he keeps track of the time and he knows yeah that happens sometimes but when, when was the last pooping the last pooping he, he clearly doesn't want you asking such personal questions. <laughs> I'm just concerned. It has been a while, actually, so... You know, you could probably... If we took him to his cage, see how he's getting agitated? I reckon he needs to poo. When he kind of starts climbing a lot and getting a bit agitated. Okay, yeah, you just go yep, take him yep, to his cage. Yep, run, run, yeah. run, 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 run. And then tell us how you go. <laughs> I'll find the next question while we wait. So we have, what is his favourite activity to do? Poeing. Screaming. Screaming. I would say sitting on the shower and singing. to sit on the shower and have a yell. He likes to sit on the window and have a yell. Your feathers are all muddled and I, I don't know I don't know how to help. I don't know how to help. I'm sorry. He also likes to climb under the table over there. Yeah. He's obsessed with those chairs. He will do his hardest to try and climb onto those chairs and sit underneath the table because birds, especially males, females too probably, but I know male birds can get really, really protective of dark spaces because it's like a breeding behavior. So if it's a dark space, then they get a little bit territorial and he loves the darkness under the table. Yeah, just <laughs> sitting under anything, he will just like... He'll um, fluff up and be like, oh, this is my spot. He doesn't attack us, us, if we try to remove him, but if Sam... Toes. Toes are fair game. Toes are fair game. They wiggle, they move a little, chomp! Chomp! <laughs> Nikki the snake lady has lots of questions. What type of bird is he? I should have said this at the start. Archie is an eclectus parrot. From? Papua New Guinea? He's at Solomon. Oh, Solomon Islands, yeah, that's Solomon it. Islands. So they, oh. oh. So he's a little bit smaller. 
Yeah, so they, they have a few different species. So there's an Eclectus parrot that you can only find up in Queensland in Australia, or very, very far north Queensland. Uh, they're the biggest Eclectus parrots. Then you have the ones from the Solomon Islands. I think there's also some from Papua New Guinea. There's all different variations of them, but I, I actually don't know what type he is. I don't remember. He's is he Solomon too. Islands? That's why he's a little bit smaller. They can get really, really big, and their beaks can get really long too. But he's That's only... An age thing. Yeah, it's an age thing. So with the biggest ones are about 600 grams, or 550 to 600. Like How much do you weigh? A little boy. He weighs nothing. Is he a good pet? Easy to take care of? I think so. He is. Okay, well he's not your pet, so you can't really answer this. Mm -hmm. I find him very easy to take care of. <laughs> I think he disagrees. Yep, he, he knows he's a handful and he's owning it. Just, just saying. Do his little talons or claws hurt your hand when you hold him? Well, yes. they can. And the talons can get very, very sharp. But luckily for us, He's totally fine with us clipping his nails. We started clipping his nails from a young age. Basically, the breeder said to us, look, every month, once a month, just give him the tiniest, tiniest little clip on his nails. And she was doing it for the first four months of his life. She used to hold out nail clippers and just hold his foot and clip the nails. And that's what we kept doing. And sure enough, it works. He's more than happy for us to clip his nails and he actually kind of enjoys it. He just sits there and he just watches. He just looks really, really closely at what I'm doing. He holds out his little foot like he's getting a manicure. It's amazing. Is this, are you an American, Nikki the Snake Lady? Cause you said, what's his favorite place to be pet? We don't say that in Australia. To be patted. Is that what we say? Are you a grammar Nazi? Um... No, I'm an Australian vocabulary Nazi. <laughs> No, that's I that's say grammar. you pat him. Pet. No, you don't. No, no, he is a pet. You he pat. Is a pet and you, you pet, pet a pet. the pet. You pet a pet. No, you you, you pet, pet a pet. Pat a pet. Don't fight me on this. You pet a pet. <laughs> What's his favorite place to be? Pet. Well, he loves the watch. That's the spot. Did you hear that? He loves tummy rubs. Absolutely loves them. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> loves them. <laughs> Mwah. And last question is, what's his favorite treat? Almond. Um. <laughs> yes. Do we have any? That's concerning when you can just go, hey, we need an almond. Oh, let's look in the corner of the house. <gasps> he just, uh, Sam is getting him an almond. <laughs> Come on. No, don't be a dick. It's coming. He just flew. He's an impatient little he one. He just flew onto Sam's shoulder as soon as Sam got the box of almonds out. Look at this. What's that? What's that, Archie? Do you... He wants almond. <laughs> My favorite snack. He will snack. go for it. Snack. Oh, happy boy. Now he's gonna leave a mess everywhere. You know what's funny? Sometimes we won't have given him an almond in a while because the thing with birds, you really shouldn't give them too many nuts because nuts are quite fatty, so you don't want to destroy their little livers. But he gets almonds as snacks sometimes. And sometimes we haven't given him an almond in a very long time and all of a sudden there'll just be a pile of these almond crumbs, like what's happening right now. We'll just find a pile just in the middle of the floor. And we're like, obviously there, there was an almond and he's demolished it, but we don't know where the almond came from. Oh. Nope. I think I think he drops almonds and then rediscovers them Months know, ages later. later. Like, oh, so it rolled under the couch. Yay! Lucky me. What's the funniest thing Archie ever did? <laughs> okay, I have I have one. Can you guys think of one? Sam probably doesn't. I don't know. You probably he did poo on Dad's chest. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah, that's something worse. <laughs> something way worse. Not funny. Well, okay. Well, then it's funny not for you. Not for me. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah. I'll, tell, I'll tell my favourite funny story. Oh, is that the time? Uh... Here, you take him. I need to get my props. Alright. Did, did that? Why am I bring that right? Yeah, you put it on my pillow. Oh, I knew that. Uh, <clears throat> okay. No. In typical bird fashion, Archie loves shiny things. Now, this is my car key ring. It's a cat, and it's got a little bell at the bottom of its tail. I got this in Japan. He loves that little bell. He will do anything to get that bell. Good thing he's distracted by the almond right now, because otherwise he'd be going for this. So these keys were sitting on the table over there and Archie went flying over to the table because he really wanted to get the bell. And he grabbed it, or he was reaching for it. 
Yep. You bastard. So he was reaching for this and I looked at him and I went, Archie! And I yelled because I didn't want him to grab it. And he reached and he grabbed it in his mouth right when I went running over and he picked it up and he flew to his cage and he had this hanging out of his mouth. He's flying to his cage and right as he gets to the cage, just before he lands, he drops it in a massive pile of shit. <laughs> so I think that was probably the funniest thing that he's ever done. Okay, so this is Slowly Dying Magic Cup. Points for the name. I like the Pokemon reference. I love the sight of birds, but I'm scared they'll shit any second. <laughs> well, that sounds like you. How do you have a free range bird in the house without the fear of it pooping anywhere? Is it toilet trained or something? I'd be standing still as possible repeating, please don't shit on me, please don't shit on me. For the love of all that is holy, please don't shit on me. Let me make this abundantly clear. Fear is a way of life in this house. I... <laughs> no. For me, Dan, you don't seem to mind, but for me, it's always about where is it going to be next? Which chair can I not sit on tomorrow? Sam does have a point. So... Oh, oh, there we go. So, the best way to describe this is uh, the seven stages of grief. First, you have shock and denial. You're afraid that he's going to do it, and you're shocked every time he does it. And then you feel guilt that, you know, there's poo on the floor, or your friend's being pooed on, or he poos on your pillow. And then you get really angry every time he does it. You're like, it's bird. And then you get sad and reflect, and you he's a bird. He's going to poo every 15 minutes. There's nothing I can do to stop it. There's nothing you can do. And then you start to realize, you know, maybe we can teach him. Maybe every 15 minutes, he's gonna fly to that cage and he's gonna poo in the cage, it'll be great. And then you just accept that he's gonna sh** everywhere. <sighs> Birds can be toilet trained, they can. It's, it's a, a well-known fact. The breeder that we got him from had some very, very, very well-trained, toilet trained birds. It's just a matter of... If a bird poos every 15 minutes, once a day he's gonna poo somewhere you don't. Look, no. he's like, I wanna poo on you, Sam. No, no, no. Na na na. Na 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 na. Na. Let go of Uncle nah. Sam. Naughty boy. Okay. My question for the lovely Archie is when did he start to talk? Hey, that's a good question. When we got him at four months old, he came pre installed with cute noise.mp3, and it was basically this little. Aww. Aww. And we were like. Oh my god! Our baby bird can talk already! And we were so excited. And then we took him to a pet shop. Well, no, no. We went to a pet shop to go buy him some seed. Not seed, so there's a special Eclectus Parrot blend that you can only get from specialty pet shops. So we went to buy that and we spoke to someone that is an Eclectus Parrot expert. And he goes, Oh, so is he making the noise yet? And we were like, What do you mean? And he was like, The aww. <laughs> We were like, wait, you mean they all do that? And he was like, yeah, that, that's what it, that's the noise that collectors parrots make. And we were like, we were so sad. Because we're really, 100% we thought our smart little boy was speaking as a baby. But no, they just make a noise, they go, aww, like that. Basically learnt that day, not special. He's not as special as we think he is. But he, no, he is, because I think it, he was probably six months old when he first said hello. We used to just say it to him. Uh, basically, you start small. You pick a small word that you want the bird to learn and you just keep saying it over and over and over again. Is it sad? I don't remember what his first word was. I think his first word was hello. I think. Yeah, it was hello. It was hello. And then he moved on to... Hello. Um, his second word was... Peekaboo! Peekaboo. It was yeah. peekaboo. Because I actually saw this video on Facebook of this girl's cross two saying peekaboo. And I was like, I need to teach my bird to say peekaboo. So then we would just yell it at him. Dan and I would just hide around the corner and we'd poke our heads out and we'd say, peekaboo! And we, he would just look at us with this really funny look on his face. But we would just keep doing it over and over and over until eventually, the second that we ducked our head out from behind the door, one day, he screamed peekaboo before we could. And it was glorious. So he was probably six to eight months old when he started doing that. But some birds... He's, some, he was eight months. Eight months, yeah. Some birds never talk. Some Eclectus parrots never say a word in their life. Some do not stop talking. I think Archie's somewhere in the middle. 
You don't buy a bird because you want an animal that talks. You buy a bird because you like birds, and if they talk, that's a bonus. Yeah, you can just buy a human. Um... I mean a girlfriend. Um... Um... Jessica says, how did you get into loving birds? I've been loving birds my whole life. My very first pet was a budgie, and I've loved them ever since, never stopped. My first pet was a budgie. Sam, did you ever have birds? Stop it. No. 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 Never got on the bird train. Uh, bird train. Why not? No! Sam? No! Why not? No! Love me. Stay away. Um, bite my ears off. Why did you choose that species of bird other than other ones? I was brand new to a collector's parrots. I knew nothing about them and I was just doing some research online, just looking at different types of birds, and I was watching lots of videos, and I came across a video kind of similar to this one, just someone talking about their pet eclectus, and I was like, that bird is so damn cute. I mean, look look at their faces, they're just adorable. We wanted a bird that is like substantially sized because bad things can happen to small birds. I mean, they can get out the door really easily because you don't notice them flying away, they can get stepped on, I know probably 50 years ago, my mum had a budgie and apparently her dad opened the door and walked in and stepped on it. So, I mean, budgies, you just don't, they're so small. So we were like, I know, isn't that awful? So we were like, we want a substantial sized bird, one that you can, you know, rough around without having to worry too much about it. We decided on a collector's parrots because they're supposed to have a very nice temperament, which I agree with. They're not as destructive as other birds. They aren't dusty birds. That's another thing that was a really big deciding factor. Australian native birds are what they call dusty yes, birds. Come out of the country. Why? Because it's good to have different things happening. No, it's not. Then it's not consistent. That's fine. It looks better like this. <laughs> because uh, you're all pastel and we're black. Oh, f yeah, we are. That doesn't matter. Aesthetics. I was <laughs> <laughs> um, just like. So, Australian native birds are dusty birds, and I don't know what the science is behind it, but basically they get lots and lots of dandruff, and they get really, really bad dandruff. Stop talking about dandruff, he's preening himself. But these birds, which are like rainforest birds, they're oily birds. So they have the dusty birds and the oily birds. So these ones, they shed feathers less. Eclectus parrots don't get mites, apparently. I've been told that Australian native animals... Australian native birds get mites and stuff, but these sort of birds, because they're oily, mites can't survive in their feathers. So there's a lot of reasons why an eclectus parrot was a good choice. <laughs> yeah! I'd love to know where does Archie sleep? I think he is too attached to you to sleep on his own in his cage at night time. Sometimes he sleeps in his cage. Most of the time he sleeps in his cage. That's the only time he's really in the cage when he goes to sleep. But sometimes he does sleep in our room. He did that last night and he loves it. I think that's the happiest that he ever is when he's falling asleep in our room with us because these sort of birds, they're flock birds. So some birds only bond with one person or one other bird. But this sort of bird, they're flock birds. <laughs> so when he's with Daniel and I together, it feels like the flock is all together. We are flock. Oh, we are flock. Flock. <laughs> he loves it. Little family. Mikya says, are you planning on getting Archie a girlfriend? No. Are we? No, no, you're not. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. I do not support this. Why do I we do not, not want this? Archie to have a girlfriend? Because then we have children, and then we have more birds than we can handle, and then we have more poo than more Sam poo, can more poo than I can possibly shovel in a day. Just, no. Archie isn't going to be a breeding bird. If you put a male bird and a female bird together, a lot of the time they're going to bond with each other because they're the same species. So they're going to pick the bird over the humans. Yeah. And. I have been told by many, many, many Eclectus owners that they had one gender and then later they decided to get it a friend and ever since it's been in the cage for the rest of its life because it's so ferociously vicious that they cannot take it out of the cage anymore because they become so defensive of each other. So Archie spends so much time with us, he's with us 
like 24 7 almost I mean I work from home so he's never locked up and every second that Daniel's home the three of us are together and then even if we're out for a while at least Sam's probably around so there's really no need for another bird he's a spoiled only child and I think he likes it that way he gets all of our TLC I mean as much as I would love to get more birds we do live no in birds my bad we do live in an apartment and you can only have one pet in this apartment anyway. And even when Dan and I buy our own house one day, we will probably just keep Archie. Maybe we might get cockatiels or something eventually, but I wouldn't buy them specifically so that Archie could have a friend. Yeah, look, come closer, come closer. I need to know, is Archie a type of fish or cat or a wallaby asking for a friend? Also, does he have a girlfriend? Like maybe that king parrot that lives down the street? I hear she's low key a hoe though, so I don't know Archie, be careful fam. <laughs> Thank you, Clyde Outdoor come? Products. <laughs> I am Archie's girlfriend, I guess. Yeah. I thought you were mum. You're mama bird. Oh uh, yeah, I'm mama bird. Yeah, so I guess Archie doesn't have Freud a girlfriend. Freud was right. Who? Freud was right. Oh. Uh, what? Sigmund Freud. Sigmund Freud. Am I missing something? Kitty Mathers. How expensive is it to take care of a bird? And what does your landlord think about Archie? Well, it's not that expensive, I don't think, because some people would find it expensive because they have a very, very specific diet. They have, it's like 80% fruit and veg and then some seed and some sprouts and nuts and stuff like that. But we eat a lot of fresh fruit and veg here anyway, so I mean, it's not that hard to feed him. We just chop up whatever we are eating and give it to him. I don't think it's that expensive, but some people would say that the Eclectus Parrot has a expensive diet. It just depends on your own diet and your financial situation. Like, Dan and I, we both have full-time jobs, we don't have kids, so we do put more time and effort and money into Archie, but I don't think he's that expensive. And what does your landlord think about Archie? <laughs> the people that own this apartment, I am I think they're from China, and they've never seen this sort of bird before, and they told us, they were like, he is amazing. They came and they took pictures of him, and they were like, wow, what sort of bird is that? And I. There's also something about the colour green. It's like a prosperous colour and they think that he's fantastic. Someone. Someone, that's their username, says what food does Archie try and fight you for? What a wonderful phrase Akuna Matata Ain't no passing grace It means no worries For the rest of your days It's our problem free Philosophy Akuna Matata What's the most annoying noise Archie makes? It's... I couldn't describe it. It's more about a no, no, pitch no, 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 no. and an intensity. Why do you keep going Come back. Uh, Rebecca says, where did you get your bird? So we got him from a breeder, a specialty breeder who has been breeding this type of bird for 30 years. It's funny, when we first decided we were going to get an eclectus parrot, we looked at them on gum tree, which is kind of like Craigslist, I guess. Or it, it, no. Isn't it? It's nothing like Craigslist. What's Craigslist then? I thought Craigslist was of the American gum tree. Yeah, I thought oh, Craigslist no, was know, like, you're right, you're right, yeah, no, it no. Is. Or do I just have like a really Why did you think Craigslist dark... was? Everyone's just like, oh, be it's careful from... on Craigslist. It's not the dark webs. So we found one on Gumtree and he was about a thousand dollars and we decided that we were going to go look at him and it was just some person that was like, I have this three month old bird that I can't look after, I want to sell it. And we were going to go visit that bird, but then Dan insisted on visiting a breeder. So... We decided, we, Dan said we should go to a breeder, so then I looked for a breeder online, I found her, 
I called her and she won't actually let anyone come and see the birds unless they have bird experience. So when, when we answered the phone, she's like, oh yeah, what experience do you have with birds? And I was like, well, I've got a story for you. I've had budgies and finches and cockatiels and lorikeets and galahs. And she was like, okay, you're more than welcome. So we went, she put three birds in front of us. We knew it was him, he was the one. We were pre-told. <laughs> Twas foretold. I've got three. I know which one you're gonna want. That's what she said. She said there's three here, but I, I think I know which one you'll pick. And that was that was him. That was him. <laughs> How many tricks can Archie do? Well one. Two. <laughs> he can go <laughs> upside best. down. He can do... that's not a proper handstand. Do a proper one with him. No, you don't know how to do it. You gave it... you have given me the bird wrong. Okay. Armin. Is the handstand. So I guess does going backwards and doing a handstand count as two tricks? I guess flying to me when I call his name, I guess that's a trick. <laughs> Archie! Pooing on Sam, that's a good trick too. Hasn't happened yet, because I don't let it happen. And then he does this one. Ready? Good boy! So I guess that's three tricks. I don't, I don't think there's many other tricks. <laughs> yet. There will be at some point. No, he, he does a backflip. Oh! I'm sorry, what? I, I, when he overshoots his cage, he'll fly, go over the top, and then like flick backwards and come back and smash into the cage. He's done it twice. Oh, so d he doesn't stick the landing. He does. Uh, I'll have to see this. I don't know if I believe this. Ilaria Di Bernardo says, Why doesn't Archie have a sibling bird? Isn't he lonely? No, he's not lonely because we never leave him alone. Here's M2. Next question. It's like the arms. How much did Archie cost? So Archie was, how much was it? Was he $800? Yeah, he was eight hundred dollars, Australian dollars. So that's probably six hundred and something US. But worth every cent because they have about a sixty-year lifespan. So I think you get your money's worth. How much does he cost to keep on average? We actually don't even factor in a cost to keep Archie because we don't go out of our way to provide anything for him because everything he could possibly want to eat is already in our fridge. So I, I can't really say to be honest. So Zoe Zebra would like to know. She says she has a bird, but it's afraid of flying and also afraid of water. <laughs> How do we teach Archie to fly where we want him to go? Gentle persuasion. Archie, come on. You want a peanut? Archie, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, nice. Here, now eat it over a plate. Because you're going to make a mess. <laughs> F*** off. Right now. Waiter, this chicken is undercooked! Archie get dirty easily? Do you have to clean him or does he take care of himself somehow? Well look, he's cleaning himself right now. He doesn't get dirty at all. He doesn't really do anything that would get him dirty. But like I said before, with these oily birds rather than dusty birds, they really don't get that dirty. But also Archie adores showers.
loves showers so much, so he will even try and turn the tap on himself because he loves getting under the water. He must have a shower every day or every second day. Like, he, he just, he must. <laughs> Did you have Archie before you met Dan or did you get him together? We got him together. We'd been together three years? Two and a half? I don't... Yeah, two and a half years we were together before we got Archie. Has Archie ever tried to fly away? This is something I keep trying to drill into Sam because... We... Yeah, it's all your fault, mate. He's never tried to fly it's away. It's all mine. It is. We have a balcony door. You stare at him and he's like... Oh, now. We have a balcony door and he sometimes if one of us goes out onto the balcony he will try and fly after us mm. and I keep saying to Sam if you go out on the balcony please tell me before you go because I need to like hang on to Archie because I don't want him to try and fly out after you and Sam's like no I have really fast reflexes I can just duck out the door really quickly but Has I... Has he got out? No he hasn't. Has he got close? What's Archie's favourite cereal? Birds don't eat cereal. Yeah they do. <laughs> I mean, we don't give him cereal. It's definitely not Frosties, I can tell you that much. Uh, what is Archie's favourite cereal? Oats. Oats. Oats aren't really cereal, but in this instance they are. Yeah. Daniel, help! Help. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, this person, Jazz, says, If you could give Archie an item of clothing he would fit, what would it be? And what do you think Archie would pick out for himself? Something green! <laughs> he would definitely pick something green. Actually, no! A penguin suit! That'd be adorable. But he loves anything green. That was a good trick. I guess you could say that's a trick. What is the blue thing on Archie's foot? It is an identification tag. So it has a little serial number on it. So if he ever flew away, we could put an ad out that says the serial number so that way he's easier to identify. Uh, a lot of people will say that you shouldn't have the tags on the birds, but it, this one doesn't bother him. Sometimes if they have really chunky feet, it can cut off the circulation, but his one is extremely loose. And he never plays with it because he's had it on him his entire life and he's got no idea that it's there. So this, Shannon says, I love when you put Archie on his back. It's the cutest thing ever. Hey. Hi. Uh, she, she would like to know more about how we got to put him on his back. So he never used to like it. We would put him upside down and he would just struggle and struggle and try to get up again. He would fight. So. He would fight so hard. And we just kept doing it over and over and over and over again until he stopped struggling. Well, I think he realized that... Well, I'd give him an almond afterwards and then he would appreciate it. So he's like, where's my almond? I went upside down. I want my almond. So were you worried about caring for a bird? Are they, are they your favorite animal? Would you ever get any other pets? <gasps> were you worried about caring for the bird? No. <laughs> no, because I've always cared for birds. Birds are yes, all of our are. favorite animal, except and for Sam's. Would you get another pet? Maybe another smaller bird when we own our own house, but no dogs or cats. I want a dog. I mean, I have lots of animals back at my parents' place. I love dogs so much. We wouldn't have a cat with Archie around. I would get a dog and I would also get more birds, but there's two of us and Dan might not agree, so. Two people, one screaming bird. Yeah. Oh, ba 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 says, is your bird fragile? Yes. He weighs 380 grams. Pretty fragile. Yeah. <laughs> Someone said, does he molt? A little bit. Uh, well, his feathers come out. His feathers do come out, as you may have seen in a few of my videos, but not much. Do you need more lights? What does Archie like to do? Says Nat is irrelevant. What does he like to do, Sam? Scream. 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 Just all the time. likes to cuddle. He 
loves to get as close as he possibly can and have a cuddle and have kisses. I think that's probably one of his favourite things to do, aside from scream, like Sam said. What's the best thing about having a bird? The cuddles? Cuddles. Best I'm thing. out of this one. It's all you. He doesn't cuddle me. The cuddles. Yes, he does. He will try. You don't cuddle him. You don't cuddle him. He's got a point. He'll try to cuddle you. You know, it's true. I think this is the best thing about having a bird. Having cuddles. I, it's also lots of fun if they talk. But, like, that, the cute noises, that's also a very good thing. How did Archie end up so snuggly and playful? He what? came like that. He came with snuggle.ra pre-installed. What are his favourite sayings? Peekaboo. And... No, no. That too. This person says Archie is so quiet. What kind of bird is he? And are they normally that quiet? No. He's so quiet. Is he though? He is. He is when you give him like one-on-one -on -one attention, which he's getting right now. He's very, very happy. But if you leave him alone in a cage, he's just gonna go. He's so loud. If he's not next to me, he is so loud. If you ever have a screaming match with an eclectus, you won't You will lose. You'll lose. You will lose your eardrums. Uh, so Miriam says, do you ever have him outside? We have a little harness for him and we take him outside on the harness. But now that he's a very good flyer, we haven't been taking him outside as much just because if he somehow got out of the harness, we would probably never see him again. But he has come out on many trips with us outside. How much time should you as the owner spend with him and how do you get that time? Well, not everyone is in the situation that I'm in. I work in media. I work as a photographer. I am at home most of the time, all day, every day, unless I'm on a photo shoot. And if I'm on photo shoots, Dan is probably here with him. She works on YouTube, which means she's up until 4 or 5 a.m. every morning editing videos. Yep. Uh, so he gets this quality snuggle time. I about give eight him hours a day. lots and lots and lots of hours of my day. And if you're the sort of person that can only see your bird when you come home from work or come home from school, do not get a bird, or no, at least no, no, that's not fair. Don't Try get an eclectus parrot. Phrase again. The, the, the bigger the bird, the more like a baby they are. I mean, he's like a toddler, really. Budgies, finches, cockatiels, they aren't, they aren't as much work. But a bird like this, you need to be able to give it as much time as possible. You need to be giving it four hours, five hours a day, minimum. Minimum. Like, like at the absolute like minimum. I mean, he gets. 20 hours a day and that's why he's like this. But not all birds are going to be like this. No, that's overselling it. That, that's way overselling it. Everyone's going to be like... 20 so hours? I can never hours. get a bird this lovely. No. Archie probably gets cuddle time, maybe two hours a night. And then he free roam for another two. And then the rest he's just being happy. Doing yeah, his he own just thing. does his own thing. But like one on one time, it's maybe only two hours a day. Like oh, I think it's more than that. Like touching and stroking him. It's a lot more. What pet shop did you get him from? Don't buy birds from pet shops. I mean, you, you can. I had a bad experience. I've had lots of birds from pet shops, but now that I've bought one from a breeder and that's what he's like, I would only ever buy from breeders again. Was it hard for Archie to bond? No. No. I mean, we just... Well, he went from bonding the breeder, so... And that night, he was sitting on my chest asleep, cuddled up near my neck. Yeah, so and the breeder then... bonded with him because the breeder could spend as much time with him as possible. So, I mean, he hasn't really bonded with Sam, I wouldn't say. Sam's choice. What do you think of Uncle Sam? <laughs> Sam doesn't like the fact Don't that... Don't roll your eyes. You have chosen not to bond with a bird. We said just give him almonds and he will love you. Give him almonds and yes. he will love you. And then he still kept biting me. We could argue about this for hours, but Archie bonded with us immediately and other people not so much. But as you can see, there is a lot of bonding going on right now and it, it was basically immediate. I actually found taking, taking Archie out on day trips made him bond with us better because for a little bird to go out into the big world for a really long day, it's quite tiring for the poor little things. They find it extremely tiring. We would take him to D&D with us and we would have like eight people at D&D and we would just have Archie sitting on our shoulder the whole time. And because he'd be in a new strange environment with people he didn't know, it kind of made him bond with us a little bit better because we were the faces that he recognized. And I really think that helped to create this sort of bond because we took him out in public and we introduced him to lots of people yeah. and it made him love us even more. Let me just go in tight on that. How do I zoom in? 
Does Archie have a favourite toy? And does he have somewhere he loves to hang out? Well, he loves to hang out on my shoulder all the time. And in terms of toys... It looks like his neck is broken. It's really <laughs> unfortunate. It's like he's like... Like, go back to the normal position. It's like you've snapped the ball back. <laughs> in terms of favourite toys, we give Archie a lot of toys, but he just likes to play with the tags off clothes. They are his favourite thing in the world. And also Sam's glasses. Yep, not allowed anymore. Not allowed. I like my glasses where they are, on my face. He will fly to Sam's shoulder and try and steal the glasses off Sam's face. <laughs> Can Archie eat chocolate? No! No, birds can't eat chocolate. They can't eat my chocolate. <laughs> and they can't eat onions and they can't eat... There's, there's a lot of things that they can't eat, but 100% just like dogs. Anything that dogs can't eat, birds probably can't eat too. Oh, what was Archie's adoption date? Uh... Uh, February... February 2017. I can't remember the exact date. No, look how comfortable he is! Don't take him away! Daniel! What are you doing? No! No! Oh, how is it teaching him to speak? Was it hard? Just say the word over and over and over and over and over and over and the bird will eventually say it. Do you have- oh, do you need a license to have him? Ashy, that's a good question. Not in Australia. I think in some countries you do. Eclectus parrots are, are not considered to be- Exotic birds. Exotic birds in Australia. But I think in some countries they are, but it, he's not- Like, there's very few yeah. birds that you need a license for in Australia, other than owls. Yeah. Falcons. But yeah, most they're, parrots- they're not really can't. Australia has extremely tight laws around importing yeah. birds. You can't bring birds into Australia. So you're saying- Bird's days! The bird's days! No. Oh, what inspired you to get a bird out of all, all the pets that you could possibly get? Because birds are amazing. The birds are the best. You don't have to brush them. You don't have to change their litter box. You do have to change the bottom of their cage, but... It's basically a giant It's not box. as bad as cat poo. Cat poo smells really, really bad. They talk. They're exceptionally loving. They can fly, which is badass, and I feel like a Disney princess when he flies over to me. So, I mean, what more do you want? Can Archie sing any songs? Not yet. We're trying to teach him to whistle the Totoro theme song. <laughs> but he can't do it yet. Frida Aguilera says, what is Archie's favourite toy and how old is he? And if this goes in the q and I'm going to scream of happiness. Alright, Freda, you better scream because I'm answering your question. His favourite toy... This is the favourite toy. Watch this. He loves leather. He'll chew on that until he dies of starvation. Honestly. Like, if we don't take that off him, he will probably die. Just keep He'll just keep chewing until just he dies. Chewing. At the end of the day, the thing with these sort of birds, yes, Archie looks like a lot of fun on camera and you guys love him, but he is like this because of how much time I can spend with him. Sam would probably not have him. Like, Sam, if it were just... If I was living on my own, I wouldn't have a bird. I'd just... Sam doesn't like birds. Birds aren't for everyone. They poo, they scream, there's feathers, there's dirty cages, there's a high-maintenance diet. It's totally fine for us. We're crazy bird people. We yeah. don't care in the slightest. For Sam... Not a crazy bird person. He likes asshole cats. Asshole cats. I, I am a dog person. Thank you kindly, please. <laughs> Sam's a massive dog person. <laughs> I own dogs at my parents' house, but I've always been a bird person. So for me, I went from small birds, budgies, finches, cockatiels. Then I had a lorikeet. I had a Quaker parrot. I had a galah. I am an experienced bird person, but if you've never owned a bird and you go, oh look at pretty pastel pleasers bird, I love Archie, hashtag team Archie, I want one, and then you go out and buy an eclectus parrot, you have no idea what you're in for. And well, you've got hurt. No, you've got the next 60 years to live with that It's bird. a big commitment, like 60 years these birds can live for. Dan and I had been together for two and a half years before we got him, and we were committed to each other like already and we knew that we'd be staying together so we decided we're going to get a bird and we're going to look after this bird but think about it if you have a boyfriend and you're like oh my boyfriend and I are going to get a bird and then if you don't stay together the bird has to go with someone and what if neither of you take it and then the bird has to be rehomed and that's a massive problem people rehome birds all the time and that's how you can end up with aggressive birds I can guarantee you if we had to rehome Archie and he went to some stranger he would 
not be as bonded to them all of a sudden like this. He's like this with us because we are his family. He's not like this with Sam. Like, <laughs> and it's a big commitment. And I don't want people just adopting birds. It's like people that adopt bunnies at Easter or they buy dogs for Christmas and then all the dogs end up in the shelter a couple of months later and the bunnies end up at the- I hop. <laughs> So please, I beg you, don't just buy an Eclectus parrot because you watched this video and you see Archie in my videos because they're very, very sensitive birds. They, ah, oh, you know something I didn't get to talk about that I really wanted to say? When you're training a bird, birds don't respond to being reprimanded like a dog does. If a dog does something wrong, you can, how do you reprimand a dog? You say no, or you give it a bit of a smack, or you- oh, they, they understand You yell at tone. them. Yeah, they understand tone of voice, you yell at them. Think about it this way. Birds yell, that's what they do. So if a bird does something wrong and you yell at the bird, it's like, we're yelling! Yay! Yeah, ah! right. Hey! Stop ah! that! Ah! Hey! Ah! Hey! Ah! That's, that's, that's it. That's it. With birds, you don't reprimand them like you reprimand a dog. Oh no! You dropped it! Go get it. You reprimand birds by scowling at them. I'm not kidding, that's a fun little tip that I picked up by an animal behavioralist expert where basically they observed birds in the wild. They saw that birds in the wild, if birds were preening each other and they're scratching each other, see that? See the face? See how he squinted his eyes? That's what birds do. So if a bird is doing something to another bird and the other bird doesn't like it, the bird won't scream at its friend, it'll glare at it and it'll like squint its eyes and the other bird understands the message. And that's because birds are so highly perceptive. So if your bird does something that you don't want it to do, you don't yell at it, you don't smack it, you glare at it. So I'm not gonna give glare it the stank at him. Eye. I'm not gonna give him the stank eye because he knows. So if he chews on something, for example, and if I really like and I'm like make a bit of a growling noise and if I stare no. at him, he'll be like, oh, sorry. Archie, come on! Come on! <laughs> I told you! This is his favorite toy! Anyway. You wanna close? The birds, yeah, you have to be here for the closing. What? No, it's all you. No! It's all you for the close. Not close. all of us! No! You're wrong! Fine. I didn't ask for this. So at the end of the day, birds are a big commitment, and if you live with someone like Sam, don't buy a bird. <laughs> birds are flock animals, and if you can't be a flock, we are a flock, all of us, and if you can't be a flock like this, don't get a bird. If you can give the bird lots of time, love, and care, and glasses to chew on, the bird will be very happy. But if you can't give them this sort of constant attention and affection, the birds are not for you. So anyway, thank you guys so much for leaving all your questions, and thank you to Sam and Dan for being here to su um, moral support. Moral support. Occasional commentary. It's occasional commentary. Oh, speaking of Sam and Dan, pe people want channels from these boys. Oh, oh, <laughs> I, want... thought, I thought you saw our little handhold behind your back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Had to let the beans out of the bag there, didn't you? Sorry, Dan. I can't the lie. The seed out of the bag? So, uh, ah. <laughs> oh. And yeah, also, an joke. now the next Q&A that we do, this is a Q&A with Archie, but the next one we do is going to be a Q&A with Sam and Dan because it's been really, really highly requested because for those of you that don't know, Sam is my ex-boyfriend, Daniel is my current boyfriend, my soon-to-be fiancé in like a week just or two. Hold, just hold on to my Hopefully. throat, protect myself. <laughs> yep, be... And people want ah. a Q&A about how... Sorry, the... you can't say that. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Yeah. What did you say? What I said he's say? my boyfriend and I was like, for soon-to-be fiancé. <laughs> No. Yep, yeah, you are. You can't. Oh, why not? Because you don't know. You know nothing, John Snow. You don't. That's so rude. You don't know it's going to be a week or two. Well, it could be days. You don't know. Archie, guess what? Mum and Dad got engaged. Ah! People have been asking for a Q and A with these guys. So, if you have any questions for us about the fact that we all live together. I live with my ex and my boyfriend. If you have questions for us, we're gonna do a little Q&A well, really, about this. Well, really, really. <laughs> this is my workout partner. Workout partner. 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 For working out yeah. together. We just A lot of cardio. To, yeah, like we just happen to know 
Alex. And yeah. Asked you. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you did start dating before you started going to the gym, but like, that's irrelevant. It's okay, I met you and I stole your girlfriend. Yeah. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have questions for us, drop them down below. Hmm. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video about Archie. It was a lot of fun to make. Thank you for your awesome questions. And that's, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you see next, next time. time. Bye. So <laughs> me next time. <laughs> 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 that's going to get people good. <laughs>